Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. I am joined by a local art teacher, Kayla Weber. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. And you're going to be painting live right now on the I air. I am. <laughs> <laughs> now, first of all, let's talk about your background a little bit. You're a local teacher here in town. Where do you teach at? I teach at Southern Elementary. Oh, okay. And how did you get into doing painting live? And kind of explain what that is, too. Um, I just started doing live paintings back in September. I did my first wedding. Uh -huh. um, I did a really crazy um, retirement at the Singletary Center, a big um, kind of music performance. I was up on stage with the yeah. orchestra. Um, so I just kind of started doing it now. I think it's... Um, Pretty fun, uh, you know. It's a really cool thing to add to a, an event and yeah. um, just kind of get me out of my studio and meeting people and showing them my art. And well, that's fantastic. So you're going to be painting right now, then. Am, you're going to yes. go ahead and get started. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to ask you some questions as you're doing this too. How did you get your inspiration to do your paintings? How do you get in inspired? Well, um, I've always lived in Kentucky. I grew up, grew up here, and um, just I've always loved Keeneland and you mm -hmm. know the horse farms and all the beautiful. Um, areas around here. So just kind of driving around and seeing how beautiful Kentucky is. People love the state and I just thought why not Absolutely. You know, start painting things that um, kind of showcase Kentucky and the, the beauty of the bluegrass. That's, I mean, it, seriously, Kentucky is very beautiful and we're very blessed to have the surroundings that we have here um, in Lexington and the surrounding areas. Now, um, what are some of your favorite things to paint? Um, definitely the kind of Kentucky landscapes. Um, I do a lot of horse racing paintings, uh -huh. um, some jockey stuff. Um, I do commissions also, so like people's houses, dogs, things like that. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, but this would definitely be my favorite. Yes, um, and you, you have, know. and I don't know if the camera can pick it up or not, but it looks like it's going to be a horse, um, some horses. you got the barn in the background with some trees, so this will be very pretty. And you're going to do this through the entire show, yes, right? Yes, yes. Like, like so we're going to come get, back to you yeah, at the I'll end of the a lot show of it too. done. That's we'll awesome. <laughs> now, what kind of medium do you like? like to work in? Um, this is acrylic. I do a lot of this just because it dries faster. I can really, I feel like, work, you know, quicker and mm -hmm. produce more artwork. Since I'm a teacher also, I have to kind of work fast and get things um, done quickly. For a lot of my house paintings and stuff like that, I use watercolor. Just because gotcha. it works better for gotcha. that. Gotcha. And where can people actually see your artwork and, um, or purchase your artwork yeah. as well? Um, I have a lot of um, prints right now on my website, which is just Kayla Weber. Art.com. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have a recent, or I'm going to have a solo show at the Bodley Bullock House for um, the Gallery Hop coming up in March, um, or March 16th. Um, and then I'll just do random series sometimes of um, different Kentucky paintings or abstracts or things like mm -hmm. that. So now, you, what kind of events do you do live? What are some examples, and what are, what has been your favorite ones to do? I, I really like the weddings because it's not so much pressure. I get a little bit of time to kind of yeah. paint while and people walk by and kind of talk to me and ask me to paint them in. The, I mean, it would um, be yeah. nerve wracking. <laughs> oh, I mean, really <laughs> doing this live. I can't even. I mean, not that I can paint. Yeah. I mean, mine would look like a stick person, you know. And it's kind of good. I like the pressure because then I like paint really fast and right. I try and get it done to make it you know look really good right. and everything. Um, so it gives me you know a good like push to, yes. to really work hard. Yes. And so you got finish. weddings and then what you did the retirement party? Is um, that yeah right? it was um, for Dr. Karp at the UK hospital. Gotcha. It was his retirement so I was like up on stage with the orchestra and mm -hmm. that was really scary <laughs> <laughs> but um, mostly weddings and smaller events like that. So, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And do you have any upcoming art shows? I do. The um, one in uh, the gallery hop and I'm gonna have some artwork actually in um, North Lime, the mm -hmm. donut shop. Um, but mostly, you know, just online is where I sell everything. Um, you do, I do, do releases of globes and uh -huh. um, uh, the Kentucky uh, themed things and gotcha. stuff like that. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Yes. We have your contact information too for anyone who would like to get a hold of you, um, might want to do a live event. Yes. Um, she would definitely be one to contact. And we will check back right after this with Kayla, but first we want to find, if you want to find out what films dominated the box office, keep it right here. And also, Dennis Rodman was arrested for DUI, imagine that. More details following, coming up on What's Popping. <laughs>